Hi guys, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries. I'm here with some more bags that I'd like to sort out and make some lots available to uh, whoever would like them. So we're going to start sorting it out and see what I keep and what I could give up. Um, things I've been holding on for too long and if somebody wants to go ahead and fix that item or resell whatever they want to do craft with it fine with me i just can't fix things that well and i just don't have the time i wish i did i wish i did but i don't um and some of these things are more modern and things i don't i usually go for the vintage so and um well there's nothing really wrong with this I guess I could do something with that. It, I think it's vintage, so I'll keep that. This is some sort of stretch bracelet. I don't know what kind of stone that is, but it seems like it would be good for crafting. So it'll go on a craft. Here's a funky watch. Look at this. Um... Oh, it's just a price tag. Somebody was trying to sell it for 29 bucks. See that? I don't know if it works. It's a bonito, bonito. But um, it's missing one of the rhinestones. So if you wanted to replace it, put a battery in, see if it works. It's pretty cool looking. Might be like new, like it never was worn, but it needs a little stone in there. Cool. Goes in the craft, though. Here is, um, I guess this is a, a glove holder thingy that you would I think that's the way it goes. You would put on your jacket and hold gloves so you wouldn't lose them. I'm going to put it in the craft. These, uh, it's kind of discolored. They're clip-ons, but I'm going to put them in the craft. This was some sort of pocket watch that's well, American Historic Society, but it's missing the glass or plastic that was in the front, and I, it doesn't close, but I've seen, I just saw something recently, somebody had taken an old one, I guess gutted it out and put seashells in it, kind of like a remembrance thing or something. So that could be good for craft. This is a big bird, a lot of paint loss. Somebody could probably paint it if they wanted to. It's Celebrity is the brand. That's decent, but it's it really does need a paint job or somebody might just love it the way it is. So the bird's going. Here's uh, a cockatoo, I think it is. And he's pretty beat up. This is really cool. It has patent pending, but it's missing a lot of these little, I'm assuming, yeah, they're beads. I don't know if they were original to that. Kind of reminds me of a honeycomb, but it needs some more beads. So that could be good for crafting. This bracelet, I, don't, I just don't know what it is. I guess it's kind of enamel, but it's, I don't know. It's can use it for crafting. It's going. This is a plastic fish. I don't know if it's lost its eye, but it feels like the like a it's peeling or something. That an old ring, kind of dark stone or missing a stone, so. It's all going into craft, unless I say different. 
This is uh, just a no-name watch, it looks like. Some wooden beads to craft with. Oh, this was a necklace with some hearts and stones, and they were falling out so rapidly, I just put them in the bag. So that's going to go for craft. Craft. This is missing some of the rhinestones. It's a big clamper bracelet. If you can fix that, it'd be pretty. Got some pretty big stones there. But these have to be replaced. This I'm just not interested in. I guess it's kind of like the puka shell or I don't know, abalone. It's heavy, but it's not marked with anything. It's a random earring with some pretty aurora borealis. Um, looks like little pieces of the purple stone. Uh, uh, not amethyst. I almost said aquamarine. Silly me. This is plastic. It's missing some paint. I guess it was meant to be something else in something else. A little earring. Missing a rhinestone. No name on that. These kill me because they're beautiful and but they have some beautiful AB pink stones that need to be replaced. If you can get your hands on something or just take them all out maybe and replace them with something else. I think there was a big stone in the middle too, but it's no longer there. These are listener. Really pretty if you can fix those. Piece of leaf might be to something. An earring. A bead earring. These it's probably West Germany. Yeah. Nice beads in those. This I don't know if I would put in the craft lot. It's kind of dangerous to ship. If I could put something on the end. I don't know if it's a hat pin or a little like a stone one here or something. I don't know if I should put it in there. I guess I could put something like the end of a stick pin would have. So I'll just stick it in there and try to do it safely. This has quite a bit of wear. It's a bracelet. Not that bad, but you can see it's it's got a lot of wear. Sometimes you'll see these in like a two-tone. This is a piece of a necklace, I think. Uh, Coro. That's cool. But it's busted up. I guess that was the piece of leaf. One of the leaves. So, yeah. Ooh, ooh. A bead. Oh, cute little ladybug. Kind of big for a bracelet. I think this is an anklet. It's got some wear on it. This is missing a lot of its rhinestones. Got some yucky glue. Let's see. No, it doesn't have a name on it. Not keeping much so far. Well, that's kind of good. This is a little bit bent and cracked on the enamel. I think this is copper. Chain mixed in with the earring that looks kind of silver but I don't know I think it's just a regular earring this I don't know what that says can you see that I can't I'll have to take a closer look I still can't see it either I don't 
don't know. It doesn't really look like anything. Maybe just an imperfection or something. I can't tell. I don't know. I think it's gold. I think I should have it tested. It would say it over here, though. Hey, wait a minute. There's two different necklaces. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with not gold on this one. This is a different one. Okay. Would it say on the little claspy thing? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm trying to look for when it where it's darkened or something. I can't for the life of me read if that's something or just you know imperfection or something like that. It's so hard when you can't see. Sorry. My magnifying glass used to have a light, but it doesn't anymore. What is it? Can you see it? No, I can't. Well, if I find my tester, I can test it. Well, I'll just put it to the side and then see if I can test it. This looks like it wants to have a name on it, but it doesn't. This is Trafari. Random necklace. E e earring. I can't talk. Little earring. Oh. Beads. This thing, I don't even know. Chief Eagle Feather something. What does it say? Grand Buckle Corp. 1989. Made in the USA. It's missing the part here of the buckle. It it's heavy. That thing is heavy. I don't know why anybody want to wear that on their, you know, belt. But I guess if you're a manly man. What does this say? A Royal Grande something. Buckle Company. There's a lot of advertisement. Not advertised, but a lot of, you know, sometimes you get frustrated when there's no... Um, Branding on what you have. This has plenty. But that's going to go in the craft because it's broken. But it's cool. I think it was worn a lot. By the looks of it. This kills me. Because it was a brooch. And it's not anymore. Because it's broken. But it's got some beautiful stones. If you want to do something with that. Another bird. Not sure what kind it is, but it's a pin. Another watch. Weird. It's got stones that are missing. And it's like a peekaboo one. It's called Parker. I don't know if it's supposed to be that shape. But it goes in the craft. This is missing a rhinestone. It's not got a marker, a mark on it. Marker. It's getting late. This is an earring that I don't have the other one too, but it's pretty fancy. Could use that. Mm -hmm. uh, just a quartz watch. It's not a bad strap. These have a lot of dark stones. You can see the the foil backs. 
So let's go in the front. Another bird. I don't know what that is. A pheasant or something? Not a little weird. One of these chains that rip your neck hair out. Or the small, you know, hairs on the back of your neck. <laughs> Some beads you can use. A mother pin. All right, let's see. Well, this was from the last one where I don't, I didn't know much about it. And of course, you know, I still forgot the name of this, but it's going in the craft. See that? And this. I didn't look at this chain yet. I'll put that to the side. This is going in the craft. I'm trying to accumulate enough to put maybe in a medium uh, flat rate bag. You know? And I think some more will do it. This is a moon glow necklace. It's got a lot of wear where it's connecting. So I'm going to, oh, what brand is that? Might be Japan, no? What is that? Koro. If it wasn't so worn out, I would keep it, but it's just it's got a lot of wear for my taste. Maybe somebody can use a silver pen or gold pen, whatever that is, and fix her up. This is really worn out. This goes on a tie. A little bangle. Don't see anything in it? On it. Number one, mom. Some random necklaces with beads on it. One of these. Oh. It's got one of these. Clasps on it. Let me see. It's just um, kind of like a royal blue with gold. Um, I guess it's okay. I guess I can. Can't tell if these are a. Worn because I just see the reflection. Oh, it's definitely older. It's got it's it's on a chain. I think I could list that. Some bangles. Broken chain. A little rose, some white beads. Oh my goodness, it's falling apart. All right then, this ring is missing a pink stone and the glue is just over the top. It's a pretty leaf, but it's the enamel's a little cracked. This is busted, but it's pretty beads if you want to mix another necklace out of it. This is interesting. Uh, not 
feeling this too much. It's modern. So. This is broken pearls and some a chain. I think we're almost at a, a lot here. This is a T. Something that was an earring or something. A bead. Just make sure that wasn't a mint or something. This are cute little beads. They're almost like Malifori or something. Glass pink beads, cute. Stretchy little cute beads. Eyeglasses. Yeah, might be able to use that chain if you wanted. The rest is just, looks like beads and stuff. This is cool, but it's got some wear. So I'll just add that to the lot. This, I'm wondering, this is probably really old. And it's got an E, but it was some sort of glass. And it's got such a, it's not black. It's almost got, you could see through it. I don't know what the material is, but I have a feeling this was old. If it wasn't broken, I would definitely put it up for sale, but it is. So this lot right here, we'll call that the bird lot. So if anybody wants that, I'll be listing it on my eBay and I'll put it. You'll know it because of the, the birds. I'll make it visible. So that would be one. Now, Let's take a look at this, and we'll make this another lot. Betty Rubble, her bracelet, plastic. This, I believe, is missing a stone, and it's enamel. It's tiny. I don't know if it's meant to not connect when you put it on, but it's not marked with anything but it's pretty but it, it needs another stone over here I believe yes and a pulsar watch really beat up mm. a watch with no name Ew, I don't even think I'm going to put this in. No, gross. Doesn't even have a name. This is looking very old. Um, Cron Air. Cron Air. Cron Whatever. Um, life time mainspring that's a new one i never saw that dust proof okay stainless steel back base metal case hmm it's got some schmutz on it that looks old but it's going in the craft so keep that separate Some big, wait, back it up. Big, chunky shell necklace. Okay. Guess maybe we'll call this the shell lot. I don't know if there's any more shells, but those shells are noticeable and you can see them. This are plastic. These are plastic. They look almost like they would glow in the dark kind of stuff, but they don't. Sonari, 1987. Some kind of project, maybe. This is got a lot of wear on it. It's a heart. It's got hearts on it. It's mixed in with this. It's tangled. I'm not going to do that right now. Hey, I'm stabbing myself. Some kind of teardrop necklace. 
There's a brooch. Then we have these. Little angel, cherub. There's a piece to something. Plastic feet. This is very heavy. I think these are glass pearls. This is a really nice clasp, but it's broken. But these are nice and heavy. You can use those for crafting. This monstrosity, I don't know. If somebody would like that. This is the beads are worn. It's probably hematite or hema like, you know, real fake. I don't know what goes in there. Some beads somebody can use. This I don't understand. It's got a lot of wear, but I don't know what this design is supposed to be. So that's going. This, I believe, had something on it and doesn't anymore. A little bracelet. Some little seed beads for you. If you want to fix something. A red earring. A watch from Geneva. A uh, stretch. Uh, old hairpin. Modern type necklace. You can use for crafting. Perhaps. Let's dump this out. like kind of a southwestern thing. I think that's decent. I think I can list that. Oh, Christmas pin I'll put in a craft. Uh, a little chain. It's cute, but I would have to lot it together with chains anyway. I wouldn't sell it singly, so I'm going to put it in the lot. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think this is for incense. $10 each, 15 for the set. Oh, I have a pair. Oh, one's big and one's little. I think, yes, you put incense, a stick in there. I don't know how safe that is. $10 each. Oh, boy. I I probably, uh, I can't, I don't know. What do you think? Would I list these? It's probably pretty common. I'm just going to put them in a lot. Pretty pink. It's, it might be just dirty. I'd have to check it out, but oh, uh, mm, it does have wear. So I'm gonna put it in the ouch BSK. It's got some wear. It's got yeah. It's going on the craft. I don't know what this groovy thing is. KC. Yeah, it's craft. Some faux pearls. This looks like it's been replaced. Yeah, I'm going to 
gonna have to grab those. Maybe I'll call this the pearl lot. What do you think? I think these are freshwater pearls. I can't tell. I got a crappy clasp. Let me see what it says. Yeah. 15 bucks. These look like they're real freshwater pearls. These do not. It looks like it's mixed in with it. So I don't know why somebody would do that. But these do look like freshwaters. But the rest, honestly, you can feel the plastic. So craft. This is an old 18 inch necklace. I don't like these chains at all. So this is very banged up. So, but this one's, yeah, this one's going to be the pearl lot. What we got here? This looks like a nice clasp. Sometimes it has writing on the side. But it's, it's heavy. It's a choker. I guess as long as the color's not scraping off for the luster, I'm cool with it. So I think these are okay. Another. I think... These are, might be Monet, no, um, the Marvella, Marvella. I can, I can get rid of, sell these, get rid of them. Oh my goodness, what is this? Look at this craziness. Oh, yeah. This is missing some stuff. Or did it ever have it on there? It must It looks like there's glue. So, that's craft clamper. This one was super cool. But it's missing stuff. So, I would love to keep it and say, Oh, let me replace that because these are so awesome, these things. But I'm not going to. I guess this is a bracelet. But it's got some crustiness going on here. I don't think these are real. They're nice and heavy glass, but I'll put them in the... Crafty craft. I think these are real, uh, what do you call them? Fresh waters. I think I have the matching bracelet, so I'm going to put this to the side and probably pair it up with the, the bracelet, but I'll keep that. No clue what this is. Could be sterling, but I don't know if it's handmade or what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I guess it's um, off-white enamel. I cannot straighten it. It looks like shark teeth. I guess it's in decent shape. I guess I can safety on it. Hmm. It's got somewhere, but it's kind of cool, right? I like enamel, so I'll try, try, I'll take a better look at it. If not, um, are we all right here? Another one of these sword dingies. Swank. This one I kind of like better because it has the two-tone, but still, I can't tell if it has wear or, oh, maybe it's supposed to be silver there. 
This is in better shape than the other one, but really I have so much men's stuff, forget it. Two hearts. And craft. Whoa. What is this? This is humongous. It's a little screwed up though. Let me see. Talk about chunky. Woo. Doesn't have a name on it. It's weird how you hold it certain ways. It does. It seems like it does. It's like mega chunky. I guess it's not too bad. I don't know. So I'm gonna so hard when there's a reflection to see if eh, it's got some wear on it so it's going in with the rest of it um, oh original price tags I love that Stearns $22 but it was on sale oh I like the clasp Monet. It's old. It's cute. I think I will try to sell that. More pearls. These are glass. I don't think they're real. Clasp is decent, but I mean the way that it's put together, I just don't dig it. So I just want to see, cause yeah, this is sterling, but still I just don't like the feel of them. They're very yellowed, so I'm gonna put that in the craft. Oh, this is another Maravella. Maravelli, whatever that was. This has a lot of wear. So it's going bye-bye. I don't know what it says. Napier, patent pending. They made a lot of that style. Genuine cloisonne. Genuine cloisonne. I think I could sell that. I have so many stick pins, though. A hair clippy thing. Oh, this is busted up. Pretty plastic, but it, I believe, was broke. Broken. Uh, oh no, it's not. I don't know why I thought one of them was missing. I guess it's not bad. Oh. I think I just saw that little guy somewhere. Where are you? I just saw it. What was this tag? $21 for what? Oh, a Monet tag. It was from the pearls. Yeah, pla oh yeah, I should save that. Yeah, this, I swear, I just saw a purple little thing jump out at me. Don't tell me, oh, here, is this it? Yeah. Guess that's it. That just needs to be glued upon there. And these are, these are all, I believe, plastic. They're kind of funky looking. 
Ugh, I don't like what's going on between there. So I'm going to put that in the craft. And if you can clean that up or whatever you can do with that. This is decent. It's kind of bumped up there, though. Yeah, I don't like how it's scratched here. Craft. These might be real pearls. I have to check those out. This is, looks like it's a very old hair clip. They almost look like snakes or something. I have to look into that if it's old or not. Anybody know? This is kind of gluey. I think somebody glued this back on there or something. So I don't like that. So it can go in the craft. A pin pendant. It's just red. Red enamel. It's in okay shape. I think I'll put a chain on it, see what happens. Oh, here's a bird. Maybe I'll put that in the bird lot with the other birds. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep it in this lot. Oh, knocking stuff around. Here's a copper horse. Got a lot of wear on him. I don't know what material this is. The chain looks old. I guess they're little pieces of jade or something. I don't know what that material is. That's the thing. I don't think it's jade, but I'm not a professional when it comes to seeing what's jade and what's not jade, you know? I don't know. It's an interesting, um, what you call it? Chain. Uh, it's going in the craft. I don't know what to do with it. This is like the musical thing. They call it a clef or something. Looks like it's pewter. I could put a chain on that. That's cute. It's pewter. It's okay. But most everything is going in the craft. This is a really cool clasp. I don't know if it's busted up. Let's see. Can you do it? No. I don't know if I can. Hey, Yope. Oh, yeah, okay. They are strung pretty loosely. They're very yellow. I'm guessing that's supposed to be what they're supposed to look like. Uh, let's see, it might say sterling on here. Yep, sterling. I don't know. I, I, mm, these are okay. I think I'm going to try to list those, even though I don't like the color, but they, they seem nice. So, but there is ooh, a ton here. A lot, a lot, a lot, and that's going to be the pearl lot. Oh, and this little thing. That'll go in there, too. So, that's going to be, I believe, about it. I don't want to make too much noise. I know people don't like too much of the scrunching of the bags, but... 
I don't want to, I want to do another one, but I just have to separate. Sorry. Um, close your ears. And I want to put this lot away so I don't mix any of the lots in the others. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, that's that's the pearl lot with all the other stuff in it, though. So I've got more, much, much more. Sorry, I'm probably like. Um, I'll be right with you. Okay. I'm going to dump this out as not to make too much crazy noises. This is a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so this is going to be the other lot. Here's a green bead. There's a missing stone on this one stretchy bracelet that's nice earring like a fake coin earring another one of those oh this is premier design the one i always forget about not a bad looking watch but I don't list much watches. I really don't. Unless they're really, like, really, really unique. So this one's going to go in the craft lot. Oh, this is, I want to show you guys. I picked this up at the antique mall. And, oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Um, at the antique mall uh, for 30 bucks sterling um, looks like some mother of pearl and turquoise and onyx and the uh, what I believe to be a cubic zirconia I got it sized because it was too small for me and I'm wearing it in place of my engagement ring and stuff I put that away and this is so pretty I like to wear it and I thought it was a good deal I'm not that much into southwestern stuff, but um, I love turquoise, so I, I like it. So moving on, this was some kind of leaf, and I think that's a hazelnut or an acorn. So everything's going in the craft lot, unless I say maybe I could list it. This is a hand carved wooden duck that's missing the pin this is kind of weird I don't know what this is uh, some kind of scary pod I don't know these are like beans and seeds Interesting, right? That's crafty. Sorry, it's a necklace tangled on it. This little thing. This can go in the craft. I'd have to lot it up anyway. This is a D. I have to find something so I don't poke something else. An elephant. The leg looks a little busted. I love elephants. Pewter. An earring. Whee! This is interesting earring. I don't think I have two of them. It's a nice... Um, 
Let's see. Oh, I never noticed that on there. Oh, these are fancy. I think I'll keep these. Crimmins. Look at that. That's fancy. If I have the other one. If not, it's going in the craft lot. So I will see. These are pretty. I think they're glass. If you want to take that apart, use that. This is a weird watch. It's kind of cool. Mega chunky. But it's scuffed up. It's got some major scuffing. It's town craft. I like the cool 70s or 80s. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's kind of beat up. I don't know what happened to it. But it is kind of cool. But it's going in the craft. Like the rest of the stuff, probably. This is a cool... Um, cufflink. I don't know what this is. But I'm going to see if there's a match for that. These are, I think, Sarah Coventry. Oh, patent pending. Yeah, Sarah Cove. But they look kind of beat up to me, like glued or something. I just, ugh, I don't like them. This isn't bad. Um, I think I can list that, like group it with some of the other ones that I found similar. This is an interesting necklace. It's got this swirly hair. But I can't tell if it's worn. I guess it's not. I just I don't trust my eyes, you know. But it's nice the way that it has those swirls. It's got I don't think it has a clasp. I lied. No, it doesn't. It's just got this swirls. kind of nice right I think it's okay I have so many necklaces no I don't want it some uh, beads they can go in the craft that's a little beat up that can go in the craft Oh, oh, this is kind of worn. I don't know. Kind of looks like Lucky Brand, but I don't see any tag. Does anybody know what that means? Is that like a hang tag for something? Anybody know? Well, I'll put it to the side. It's modern. Let's see what we can find out. This is actually pretty. Sarah Coventry. I'm going to keep that. These earrings look beat up to me. Lightweight. I don't know if it's dirt or what. Just a little scuffed up here. Yeah. A watch that doesn't look like it's ever been worn. Oh, cute. Look at that. Oh, it's lucky. Yeah, it's like, um, like a, like a pumpkin orange leather. Leather. I'm not sure why it's had it like that. And it's got the little shamrock. This is cute. Little shamrock there, little shamrock there. Probably just needs a battery, I'm guessing. So, I like this. Even for myself. I might see if it has a battery. If I can get it to work. Let's put it that way. It's kind of cute. This is a Citizen. Very beat up. 
a religious medal. Don't know what that is. It's kind of like the Wolgid Silver. No. This is an old chain. Don't want that. I don't know if this is for um, a scarf or something. very worn. This is missing the middle little stud. Erica, the little peng penguin, oh, dolphin. G. Oh, here's another one of those earrings. Those are pretty stones. Earring. You can use those beads. Is definitely worn. And then you have this all attached to this going in the craft. Oh my goodness. This is something mixed with this. Okay. This is pearl. See if it has anything on here. No. What's the chance of it being real pearls? Are they? Are they? No, they're not. This is going in the craft. Oh. This is another one of those. That's so neat. I am. But it's. I think it's A J C. Yep. Those are neat. I'm gonna see if I can sell those. I've sold things with um, initials before. Not easy, but it happens. This is like a lingerie clip or something. The vintage to clip your bra or something like that. I could be wrong. It happens. Net earring. A little enamel charm. Looks like it's copper. like a tiny little bracelet with a pearl or it could be an anklet and I've got a silver chain over here this is cute but it's really worn I don't know what that says um I think it's 18 karat electroplated. Right? 18K something something. I don't think it's real. But I cannot tell what it says, so. Can you? 18 something. And it has like an A or some kind of symbol. But it looks like it's not real. Yeah, this doesn't help. Might have a name of a company in it or something. 18 karat. Care M something. I don't know. I doubt that it's real. But it doesn't just doesn't give me that feel. But I can test it if I find my tester. This 
is an old earring. Single earring. Oh. This is weird. This is a pendant, I guess. And it's got a heart that's not that great looking. It's got the um the sand dollar. But these are um these look like real freshwater pearls, big fat ones. Not bad. But I'm not keeping it. This is a big chunky chain with one of these things on it. Not keeping that. This is something for a ponytail, I'm guessing. A little ring. What does that say? D A C. I don't know what D A C would be, but it looks like some of the gold is wearing off. So that's not real. Cute little stretchy bracelet. Oh. beads. Just a few. Cute watch, but it's got a lot of wear. This is really pretty. I don't know what it was, if it was a ring or something, but that'd be good for crafting. These, I'm just going to say, I don't think that they are what they think they are and i think i have both and i will not sell them like that you know because i uh, i don't think they're you know like chanel number five no but you can have them in your lot earring well, I, I, these were really, I guess, worn. I don't know the name. Oh, Edwin Pearl. I think I have the other one, but it's very, um, it's got a lot of wear on the enamel. If you want to repaint them, you can do that. Like that. This is like something from a candy machine, vintage. is cute. Swank. I have too much. Another one of these. One of these. I think this is for a tie. I think it's just beat up. I don't think it says anything. This has seen better days. This has some missing turquoise pieces. You know, a faux turquoise, I would say. So. A ring. This is beat up, but I don't know. Let's see, I have these. But I don't think... I guess they're a match, but I have so much guy stuff. I really, it's kind of, it's in good shape, but it's just kind of generic. I, oh, there's something on the inside. It probably says patent pending. No, it's Spido. No, I don't want them. I have too much. This ring is pretty. Got some sparkle to it. What does it say, guys? Help me out. What did it say? I don't know. It might be like 925 or something.
don't know. Oh, look, it's the copper is coming through or whatever it is, so no good. Earring. Another one of these. Little earring. Stone that belongs in something. Another cuff link. A stretchy ring. One of these woven things here. This bracelet will go in there. This broken. That will go in there. That's going in there. Oh, didn't mean to throw it. It's got some some more earrings in there. It's got some. Pearls in the pearl group here. More of those. A little pin is cute. A chain. Oh, earring. I don't know if I have the other one. I don't believe that I do have some random earrings in here. Don't know what that is. Belongs to something. That's old. All cruddy though. You know that a bad cruddy, just old. <laughs> This isn't bad. I think this is Japan. Yeah. No, oh, that's going. Oh. This is missing the stones. Oh, it's like a crinkly chain. It's going. Going in that. This was the one that had missing on there. It's a random earring. It's a cute earring, but I didn't see the other one. This isn't bad. It's kind of cute. It's old. Yes, I think we just can salvage, salvage that. I don't know what that is. This is a cute little chain, really. It's different. I like it. I'm going to keep that. A little bracelet. I would like to find some gold. <laughs> okay, that goes in there. No angel. Cute. Whatever random gemstones I find is going in there. This cute little pendant. Earring. USA. Enamel kind of coppery. It's over glued. So no. Um... This chain is a mystery to me. Interesting old chain and it's got this very thin other chain attached to it and this is the clasp. Do you think that's weird? Why would it be like that? Hmm? 
I'm, I think I have to keep it because it's interesting to me. And it, I feel like it's really old. And I have to find out why there's two different chains on here. So i got to find that out. Here's another bead. I feel like we need to add more to that. Um, even though there's a lot here, I need something else. How about we add these babies? Woo! So excited, knock it over. Okay, this is some gorgeous uh, blue moonstone or moon glow, I should say. Moon glow. And it's a choker and it's supposed to be attached. And it's not, but hey, come on. Is that gorgeous or what? Beautiful. So maybe we should call this, I dropped something. I will get it as a bead. So maybe we'll call this lot the moon glow. Put that in there with that. And we also have this that I am crazy about. It's another one of those glove holders. And there's a spot for the ring on the hand. There's these stones we're missing. But look at this on the side. Gorgeous. Can you fix it? More power to you. So I'll put it in here. And we have these beads. These are, I guess, what do you call it? The Malifori, Malifori, I don't know how to say it. Glass beads, but it's got a, a barrel clasp, but they are coming apart and there's some gold paint missing from the little guys. But if you wanted to take them off and make something else, even a bracelet, chunky bracelet would be cool so i'm gonna put this in that lot too with the moon glow and that'll be it for that one that's it for that but okay hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching me try to sort out and get rid of some of this hoard bulk that i have i didn't keep too much and there's some things i just want to look into so when I will ever get these listed, I don't know. But if you're interested in any of them, except for this watch, because I think I might get something going with that, if it works. Oh, this is going into the craft lot, because I couldn't find the other one. So, But if you're interested in any of the things that I kept apart separately, certainly let me know. There'll be lots more craft lots in my future and um in yours and also i am finally going to be able to go back to the antique shop where i get my bags uh tomorrow so i'll be picking some up and be doing some more unbagging you know bags and stuff stuff we haven't seen yet so i'm pretty excited about that very excited actually so i will see you guys soon and um have a great night thanks for watching Thumbs up if you want to. Thank you for all your comments and your support. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep seeing the videos. And I hope they're more constant now since um, things are getting better. Okay? Thanks. Bye.